Hello painters, hello again. Thank you for waiting me after my YouTube break that I took for Christmas. Thank you all for those who have brought me to tell me that you missed my hello painters. <laughs> I really appreciate your support, you know that. So here I am back again in my new studio. I made uh, big changes that you will see in a future video. Not only in this studio, but we also have now an office to make all these logistics stuff that you also have to do as a small business manager. So here I am again with a video I recorded pre-Christmas. It's the video about how I clean my process. A lot of you have requested this video because you know I have my process super, super clean and I take a good care of them. And after a long, long time, I managed to finally find a method to clean the process every single day, but just taking a five minutes of my time because I didn't want to spend a lot of, a lot of time cleaning the brush. So I am going to show you two things. The first one, how to leave them overnight if you are going to paint again the next day or the next two days, I don't know, and how to clean them super, super, super deep to have them as new. So let's go. When I paint, I leave my brushes in a vertical holder like this one. I will link it below if you're interested. This way, uh, the brushes will not touch or mark each other. And I like to leave the clean ones behind and the ones that I'm using on the front. Okay, some tips before cleaning the brushes. I mostly do my mixes with knife. This way, you will avoid having pigment in this metal thingy because this is the most difficult part to clean. And you will also have less chance to get moody paint. I will link a video here in which I explain how I mix my colors. While painting, be sure to respect the direction of the bristles, at least when you grab the paint from the palette. And same when you are using jars, when rubbing thinner or when you are cleaning them with the thinner while you are painting. This is my cleaning routine after each painting session. I put on some globes if I didn't do it before and I clean the palette first. Don't worry, I will explain about palettes in another video if you're interested. I use a tissue or a wipe to remove the oil leftovers. For paper towels, I am using also rags because I am trying to reduce the waste and I am trying to use less paper every time. But for wipes, it's a bit harder because the oil they have is so convenient to remove the oil excess. Okay, the step zero before cleaning the brushes. I always recommend to remove with a paper towel, rugs or anything you like to use, all the oil paint you can. Step one, use the thinner you use while painting to clean the brushes. Be careful and always respect the shape of the brush, as I said before. If you don't have a lot of pigment in the bottom, you can use the bottom part to clean them. Or if you do, just use the walls of the jar. You know the pigment goes to the bottom and you can separate the thinner from that and keep reusing it. For some people, this may look like this is the final step and your brush may look kinda clean, but they aren't. Step 2. How to leave them overnight. If you are painting again tomorrow, you can leave them like this overnight and they will dry a bit, but you will be able to use them. If you want to avoid the drying, you can grab them in a rack like this and they will stay a bit better until you're back to painting tomorrow. If you are not painting in a couple of days, I recommend you skip to the next step. But let me show you this magic gel. This gel cleaner isn't available here in Spain as far as I know, so thank you Lily for sending it from Australia. This gel will leave your brush moist until your next painting session. I like to have a bit in a pot like this because it's winter here and it's hard to get it out from the tube. You have to squeeze a lot. <laughs> And I found that the pot is nice because of the lid. Here you can see that this has some marks as, and they are perfect to clean the bristles. 
let me remove this old gel so you can see that the brushes are still dirty this gel is cleaner and will remove some of the pigment you wouldn't remove with a thinner see all this is pigment but what is important for me is that this will leave your brushes ready to be used the next day or even they can stay like this for as long as you want i have some old ones with this gel too and you can see they're in a really good shape this is one brush with gel on it a bit sticky and oily but this other one is one that i completely cleaned in the past dry and loose can you see the difference I just do this with all the brushes until the next painting session. If you don't have this kind of gels available, just cover them one night, or if it's for longer, use the next step. This one is from another brush cleaner I used long ago that also works similar. Again, you can see they're not clean, this is just temporary. Look, this is what I was saying before, the pigment stays in the bottom, like this, and you can move the thinner to other jar and use it. This is the pigment that I have to clean from other day. Oh, and if you're curious, the dumbbell is just for having the towels still, because if not, they could be constantly moving into the middle of the palette. And yeah, the paper I cannot reuse anymore are stored into this jar so I can use them to pick all the solid pigment that is on the bottom of the jars. Now this is a solid residue that you can bring to the clean point of your local dump. Liquids, I throw them here. This is an old thinner container that I bought and when it got empty, now I use it for storing the used thinner. You know the thinner eats some of the plastic, so you have to be careful where you store it. If it's not glass, be sure it's an old thinner container like this. Okay, but let's go back to the brushes. Now this is how I leave the desk overnight with the jars with all thinner. These are for water, for acrylics maybe. The palette here ready to be used in a painting session. I don't store it in the fridge because this is too big. <laughs> But it's okay. Okay, this is the next day and I wanted to show you that the brushes are still soft and flexible. If you don't use the gel, the thinner could have tried and the brushes could be stiff. This is not bad, but you can avoid it covering with a towel. This means that there's still some pigment there, right? Yes, all these brushes can stay like this for as long as you need. You can use the combo of the thinner plus the gel to have them super clean and super moist or you, if you don't have the gel, you can use the combo of the thinner plus the wrapping towel, just like this. On a flat surface, being careful with the shape of the bristles, you know that. But you can see that some of them, even though it's super flexible and you can see it's almost like it was clean, it has a lot of residue here and we should clean this if we want to make our brushes to last as long as we can. And the way to do this is using water and soap. Before cleaning your brushes with water, you have to be sure that you have done the step zero and one because you cannot throw oil pigment or acrylic or gesso through the sink. So I am going to take this, the ones that I used yesterday, and I am going to clean them in the sink. Okay, we are here in my bathroom. I know some of you already know it because I have painted my bathroom a lot. Well, I like to use these brush cleaners. These are for makeup brushes, but of course they work the same. This one is for Primark and this one is from Tiger. I like this because I can store the water in here without having the tap open and this one will stay still. This one is the Da Vinci Soap. It's supposed to be only for brushes, especially for brushes, but I tried more. This one, for example, is just pure soap. So I grab the brushes and a bit of water and you can see all the pigment that is already here. 
You can do this with your hands until the water is not dirty anymore or with a brush cleaner because because it's amazing that these things it has help you clean through the bristles super super well. You gotta be sure that you're not blending the bristles though, always in the direction of the hair. And this is it. I'll do this for every single brush. Okay, look at this. You may think this one is clean because it isn't stiff and it's super loose and fun, but you can see this pigment in the metal part and this will end up ruining your brushes with the time. So this part is super, super important. And now I grab an old small towel and just dry them properly. If you don't dry the handle and you leave it with water, this can ruin it because the wood can expand and the paint will tip. Also, if the metal part is, uh, is made of bad quality metal, they can have rust with time. So be sure you are drying them. As you see, I also clean the handles. I think I am a bit too freak with this because I like to have them as clean as I can. But don't obsess with this as I did because you'll see some of the bristles will end up with another color. But as long as the water comes clean when you are cleaning them in this step, it's okay. So here we are now with the brushes, super, super clean. This is only when I am going to stay more than a couple days without, paint, without painting. Maybe I am doing a trip or I don't know. From time to time, I like to do this once a month because this will help my brushes to stay as new for a lot longer. And I have another brushes here. For example, these round ones. Maybe you want to keep the shape super, super good for longer. Again, I use the gel to show you if this gets dry, the hairs are going to separate a bit. So I like to use a bit of this and clean, of course, and just give this a bit of shape. If you don't have this awesome cleaner and gel, you can use conditioner to do this because this is still hair or even soap without rinsing it and you can leave this super pointy super ready to be used in the jar i couldn't do it with that with this because you need this to be super super fluff but with this maybe if you have some problematic brushes that may have the bristles a bit open in the in the upper part for example let me find some for example i have this one that is a bit open because i didn't clean this in the past as i should so we can use this soap this gel sorry to keep the shape as we need exactly as me so this is how i clean my brushes it may look long but you only have to spend five minutes after each painting session and 20 to 30 minutes once a week once every two weeks when you find the time do this and i'm sure your brushes will last a lot longer and you will spend less money in your brushes and your materials and you are going to be less wasteful I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!